Hi there. A lot of people have been asking me how I do my makeup. So since I'm in Japan and really in the mornings I don't have anything to do. I thought why not do like a few tutorials. Um, so right now I have nothing on. I just did my eyebrows just a little bit filled in. I probably might do a little more. Um, at the moment, <clears throat> I am going to work, so uh, I will do a very casual, very flushed out, very, if I may say, Japanese-like blushy look, okay? Um, I usually like to start off with a little bit of CC cream, but um, I don't think I need anything today so um, I will just use a little bit of concealer so what I like to use is Sam Sable by Maybelline fit me just a little bit like starting with a little, like very little product the whole point is to not kick up your face okay so use like really little I just dipped my wand like once and that's it, okay? I like to use my finger to, uh, what do you call this? Buff or blend. I don't like to go over my eyes with concealer because I like the natural color to show, so that way it looks more natural. And doing this very quickly, because I gotta run. Sometimes I just do that as well. I know a lot of people say you're not supposed to do that. It will, I don't know, make it look bad and stuff, but it doesn't do that to my skin. Maybe because I have pretty clear skin. Um, yeah, nose, very important. So I like to make like a circle here. And then I just like to glide. And then just do that. Work through my way. Literally, that's it. Okay. I don't do any contouring. At least not on a daily basis. Maybe if I am doing a photo shoot or like if it's like an important video for like a musical video or something, then I go in with like but not today so quickly i'm just gonna use my blush my favorite blush which is by milani i like to use two colors one is romantic rose rose romantic and the other one is coral cove by de corel <laughs> so first i like to use this I know you guys must have been wondering what is that. So, I had a pimple, okay, like a month ago. And I wanted to try something different. And I put garlic there. I had hair, hair, and hair. And I put garlic there. Literally, I just put garlic there. And I woke up in the morning. The pimple was gone, but it left me with a dark spot, like a black scar. Um, it's still there. It's fading away. I'm applying aloe vera gel, but man, it's gonna take some time to go away. I regret. Never put garlic, guys. Never. Garlic is a, uh, you know. Anyway. So, yeah. Just like touching and then go over your nose as well to get that sun-kissed 
glow from within not too much don't go overboard I usually love and then go over your eyes as well since I don't have anything on my eyes say that I think I'm gonna go a little bit more I don't think the camera can pick up that much but I already have I don't like to do too much because this is a very natural look and the rest I just put it on my body now I will curl my lashes actually no I'm gonna put some uh, eyeshadow I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty palette the nude one one of my favorites I have a lot of palettes um, uh, maybe a little bit of shimmer this one it's called crave just touching I know I said casual look, but this girl loves glitter. So little is fine. And I'm not gonna do eyeliner, so I guess it's gonna be fine. It's so pretty and it's like really subtle. You can build it up according to your like. I like to do very little. Like I said, I'm going to work. So don't wanna look like I'm going for a show. So now, that's the curling lash step. One more time. Okay, that's done. Sometimes my lashes go like this. <laughs> and no mascara. I love mascara. I own a few. I my favorite would be uh, the L'Oreal. Um, my favorite would be the 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 the, 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 the I think it's by L'Oreal. Yes, L'Oreal Paris voluminous lash paradise and then this one incredible lash sensational by maybelline and uh, this one is by smashbox super fan i'm gonna use this because like i said natural i don't want to go too dramatic loved makeup as a kid growing up I don't know if a lot of people know but I mean already know that my mom is a singer and uh, at one point of time she used to do a lot of gigs but after she had me and my younger sister she couldn't continue because you know all the work and you know pressure was on her his daddy had to work to bring the goodies so that the house could run we were not financially that strong that time and we didn't have anybody to help us so they were together as a team and you know used to work things around so I saw mom doing a lot of shows when I was around like seven, eight year old. She started doing a few gigs that time and she used to do makeup. And that's how I learned to do my makeup by just watching her. I never took any professional, you know, classes, never went to anybody to learn. So, yeah, it's all my mom. She used to do like that wing liner. A lot of people ask me, how do I get the wing liner always right? 
maybe because of my practice because I always do it always used to do it as a kid now not so much but now I'm more into lashes big lashes I don't use falsies because I feel like it's just too much to work with and I just feel a little uncomfortable having something on my eyes because I have to look at my fretboard and it just is really uncomfortable to know something's on my eyes it just bothers me so yeah so my top lashes are done look at this that's good and a little bit on my lower lash be really careful when you're putting mascara because I know a lot of people have this habit of going here and there and then oh just when I said I did it to myself cuz guys I'm talking anyway I'm gonna clean that up with a earbud. Just take some Vaseline, or you know what? Just take some concealer first. Because I don't wanna do the whole thing again. Where is my concealer? Damn. Yes, there we go. Just take a little bit on the hand. Your, uh, your butt and then just go like that it gives you kind of like a smoky look as well but controlled yeah see that okay now comes the very important and my favorite part I think it's every girl's favorite part it's the highlighter and uh, I like to use a brush for that, which I can't find. Should have been more prepared, but uh, anyway, I guess it's okay. Yeah, I found it. So, I think that's a lot, but it's okay. It's a very natural kind of glow. Okay, no, I went over the board, but it's okay. It's gonna oxidize anyway. With my whole sweaty, sweaty stuff. Go on your forehead with the same brush. I'm not gonna use more. I'm just gonna take it from my cheekbone and then put it on my nose. Take your finger, go like that very lightly, and then take your last finger and put it in the inner corner. Inner corner, wow! Not too much, and then just beneath the arch of my eyebrow. If that's what you call that. Okay. See that? How beautifully it glows. The next part is to highlight your body. Okay? Don't forget that. Go like that and then put it here. Put it here. Put it here. Here. And put it here. Put it here. Yeah. Okay, enough highlighter. Now, my lips. Lips. What do we do today? Orange or go for a very natural kind of look? I think we go for a natural look. So, what I do for a natural look is something more fusion like a mix of colors some 
first moisturize your lips mm. and then I really love this color by Pat watermelon take a little bit on your finger like that and then there you go. See that? It's almost like your lip color, but enhanced. And do that. Not too much, guys. Remember, this is a very natural look. So, you know. Be controlled. Less is more. At least for a casual look. Yeah, that's it guys. And then I'm gonna put my nose ring. It's an orange color. Then, so yeah, this is my look. I hope you like it. I'll do more of this. I really enjoyed doing this. Um, but as you guys know, I'm a musician and I'm always on the run and I'm always traveling. So it's a teeny tiny bit hard for me to be consistent but I will try. So this was my everyday casual kind of on the go makeup look. Um, maybe I'll do one just before the show. Maybe the first show of this tour that I'm a part of at the moment. So you guys can see how I get ready for my shows, yeah? Till then you guys take care and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and I will see you soon.